What's up, everyone? It's Tex206, and don't mind my attire. I'm just uh, wearing my Raptors outfit just to cheer on the Raptors as they go on to their next game. Game, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Oh. Ooh. Crap. Turns out I wrote the script a bit too early again. Oh well. Today I'm going to be answering the Q&A questions you guys sent me on Twitter and the videos uh, talking about the Q&A. So without further ado, let's boot up my old iPod 4 and check out these responses. Are you kidding me? I forgot! Freaking this thing's battery's been five for six years now! Ugh. Well, looks like we're going based off memory. So the first question comes from Jolt on Twitter, or aka at ThunderJolt, and he asks, What happened to Toe? Now, if you don't know what Toe is, pretty much to sum it up, it stands for The Other World, a game me and ThunderJolt teamed up to create as a little appreciation game for all the friends we made on Twitter at the time. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it was. It wasn't something big, it wasn't exciting. Well, it would be a little bit exciting for people who have been waiting to play it. Um, it was for Mac and Windows, like, usually any Deluxe Incorporated game is. And, yeah, it came and went. It had DLC that was pretty much just locked away until uh, an update for the game came out. And then, all you need to do was download an image, and then copy the name of the image, and enter in that code, and put the images in the pictures folder, and then you have access to that area once you find the person to enter the code into. Then you get the Cold Isolation DLC and the Hot Oasis DLC, and after that, if you beat both DLCs, there's a secret uh, ending which you can unlock if you talk to the statue that's in the middle of the world map. Um, and yeah, and it's been done since, uh, Family Day of last year, 2020, and I haven't really went back to it mainly because of the, uh, well, the one thing that it cost, and I don't really like to think about it, but, <sighs> yeah, that's, um, uh, that's pretty much what happened to Toast. Toast's been over for a little bit, and then he goes on and says, uh, a sequel to Toe. Maybe! In the future! Just not right now, I'm a bit too busy. But definitely in the future, I'm down for a toe, a toe sequel. I'm down to expand the lore on the story, since it has kind of a bit of lore, and it has to do with H2O the game. Dear God, little Wang. Anyway, um, that's that question out of the way. Let's move on to the next one. We're gonna go to the YouTube comments for this one next. Next question comes from SL, and they say, why do you keep changing your channel icon every year? Um, well, that's a, I guess, an interesting question to note. Um, so basically, I guess just because yearly, well, I feel like, I guess, I, every year I feel like I need to update my icon to reflect my progress and growth on how the channel has become. And anytime I feel like I'm a meant how uh, I come over or did something big, like, for example, I made both part one at the end of the year. Or let's just say Mayo Spooky Miss Part 2. Why not? In 2019, in the end of the year, Mayo Spooky Miss Part 2 came out. At least I think that's when it came out. And, uh, I was like, damn, that was a pretty good, big accomplishment for me back then. So I thought I would reflect that with my channel on con getting updated with the kind of the style that matched Mayo Spooky Miss. Well, kind of. And then when things like, let's say, more recently why I changed the icon this year, even though I went out of my way literally on New Year's in 2019 to make all the icons ready for 2020 for the for all seasons, spring, summer, winter, and fall. I did an uh, icon for each season, one for the Halloween season, one for the Christmas slash winter season, one for the Valentine's Day slash spring season, and then one for the summer season. And then I just discarded them the next year, and well, that's mainly due in part because of the Went Horribly Wrong series. Well, two-part series. It's not actually going to be a continuous series, since, well, I pretty much explained everything that went wrong with that. 
But uh, pretty much, the reason why I changed it this year was because, well, the reflective of my art style. Now I've pretty much grown comfortable with the kind of art style I was doing, so I wanted to see if I can improve on it, which then I did, and then updated my new icon to be half me, and then a half the text to a six persona, or whatever you want to call that. Um, so yeah, then half of it on the banner you can see is half of it is text to a six related stuff on the sketch side, on like the paper side, and then the real world side, I guess you can call it, it's like more catered to reality, uh, more like people that I still keep in touch with in reality. Kinda. Um, besides one exception, but that's that's just about it. So that's pretty much why I change it every year. I just feel like when a new year comes, I feel like, nah, I, I feel like I've grown and I want to show how I've grown by updating my icon and then updating my banner. And I think this one's gonna stay probably for the longest time. I feel like this is gonna stay. I'm not gonna change it every Halloween or something like I did last time. I don't think I'm going to change it, but who knows. End of 2021, we may have something to say about that. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. So the next question comes from Officer Thanner and he says, uh, what's in the book? Okay, look, I said I would show the book at the end of the video. I uh, actually, I never said when, but it's gonna be at the end of the video. I'll show you what's inside the book, okay? Nothing crazy. Maybe, it's not yet. But it might be, uh, depending on how much you know about the subject. But, uh, yeah, I will not show you what's in the book yet, but near the end of the video I will. Next question comes from Fico here, and he asks, What's an underrated game that I wish got more attention? Um, well, to be honest, there's not really much games that I like that are underrated that I prefer to be like, like Pokemon, the, 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 the Undertale, as we did, Monica, but, um, to say the least, <laughs> um, I have to be 100% honest here. Um, I would say Tolt, but that's a bit cheesy. But deep down, like, actual, actual games that I haven't created, or played a part in creating, I would say the legendary Starfy games. Those games were my, well, that game specifically was my childhood, the legendary Starfy. And I've always dreamed of a Starfy game in a Kirby game crossover, and I have literally the ideas for it. It's... It just could work so well, I feel like. Those two characters interacting with each other in their characters, I feel like it will work very well, and I wish that could happen, but that's pretty much out of the realm of the possibility since the legendary Starfy for the DS was the latest in the game series, and there hasn't been another one since. So, uh, yeah, I think Starfy is pretty much sunken, which is a bit sad, and the legendary Starfy is the only one that has come out in worldwide, I think. And then the other three that exist don't even have a localization, which is insane to me. I don't know why, like, they haven't ported it over or translated it. There's like a fan translation of the first game for the GBA one, uh, ready for you to play if you want. And once I get my computer, uh, actual gaming computer, I'm definitely going to play the first Starfy game. I really want to. And I think it's a game that more people should look into. It's actually a game that has majority a water platformer, but it's a good water platforming game. It doesn't feel weird, it feels natural. And it has really good charm with the games, and I wish I was able to play the other three games in the future. Uh, so yeah, that's a game that I wish got more attention. Actually, here's one more question. We're gonna go jump back to Twitter with this one since this is the last question. Um, he asks, how do you divide pineapple by apple? Wait, how do you divide pineapple by apple? Well, let's figure out together. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find out what pineapple divided by apple is together. Uh, let's click on this video here. Hey y'all, Scott here. Just kidding, I'm just a random guy named Steve. Well, could have fooled me.
Today, I'm going to be answering the long-awaited question. What is pineapple divided by apple? So, all you're going to need, just going to need a simple pineapple slice, a simple apple slice, and then all you need to do is... Lol. Well, this is stupid. Well, uh, I guess we're not gonna find out what uh, pineapple divided by apple is, guys. I am sorry, I tried. Wait, where did the text go? Um, is this normal for a Mac? I'm swear that the, the blue screen things were like, uh, you know, actually. <laughs> what the hell is that? Check inside the chest. My book? My sketchbook? What, what, what are you even trying to get at, computer? I said I was gonna show this at the end of the video. Okay, look, I don't know what you're trying to get at, computer. Okay, I already said I was gonna show this at the end of the video, okay? You, you have to let me out first. It's been long enough, yeah? Wait, no. No, 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 this can't be, this can't be, no, 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 there's no way he's that close to getting out, leaking out, I didn't think he'd be this soon, well, alright, you know what, fine, we'll meet at the TV like we usually do later tonight, got it, Ugh, I freaking hate the Well, well, well. Look who finally set me free after how many years now? Six years? Damn, man. I thought he would have called me there sooner. Hello, Adam. Yes, it has been a long time indeed. Did you really think you'd be able to impress me forever? No. I knew you would come back eventually, especially what I've been hearing about what quarantine has been doing to people mentally. I knew it was about time that you would find your way out back into the real world again. So, I just sped up the process. I went on my own forced nostalgia trip. Just so I could talk to you again, because I need your help. Ah, yes. A clever topic of nostalgia trip at that. But of course it had to be about her. The reason why I exist. Very clever way of trying to be back out. Please, I just really need your help with something. Oh, no need to explain to me, Johnny Boy. I'm always going to be there for you. And this time is not any different. Just make sure to go to bed and we'll talk about it then. See you soon. <sighs> Alright, Adam. I'll see you soon. What? I was gonna actually try for once, you know? You never know, it might work! Yeah, no, never mind, it didn't work. Sorry, Fico.